Hey guys, what's up? How are you doing today? We're going to do something really sort of different. We're going to play around with more of CSS tree um, keyframes, sort of um, animations and whatever else. So today we're going to build a loading sort of a logo that moves. You know, you know the way you have sometimes a logo, uh, loading logo, and there's like a circle maybe going around, and there's like some some uh, another like circle if you want to call it like that going around it kind of just spinning around rotating around so yeah basically we're going to build that today Um, it's really I don't know where you kind of practical uses for it Um, not really so many because it's just some um, just some um, animation so you can't really use it in many areas but it's probably nice to just have something you know spinning around on your web page or anything but not really practical but we're still going to build it and so on so we're just going to call we're just going to make a title and we're just going to call it loading Um, I have all the you know the doc type HTML whatever else I have all of that done and I'm I'm going to have that done for every video now so I don't have to waste time anyway so this is quite easy to make all we do is just we write in div um, and we say class we we just make a class because we do need a class because this is actually more CSS based than HTML. So we just say class equals um we're gonna say loading because that's kind of what it is. And um yeah, we're just gonna close it and save it. That's that's all we really that's all we need. Um in the browser you won't see anything different. It will still be just a blank page. Anyway, so now it's CSS time. Now CSS is quite it's not so advanced, um, it's just some basic CSS if you want to call it like that. Um, there's nothing really um, complicated in a way. You know, there are just some maybe new elements, not elements, but new rules that um, maybe you haven't, haven't seen just yet. That's, that's all I'm going to say. So um, I suppose let's get started. Um, I think I'll start with keyframes. Yeah, let's start with um keyframes. Um now keyframes will just allow us to have a rotating thing. Um around the circle that we're gonna build in CSS. But first I will start with keyframes because it's it's not the complicated part, but it's just I don't like playing around with um with keyframes as much. Um I'm not so uh at them but anyway so yeah we say keyframes rotate make sure you say rotate because if you don't if you don't say that you will have issues because it will just not work for you so just make sure you do have uh, keyframes at keyframes um rotate so we're going to say um transform um and then we're going to say rotate so we're just going to actually um my spelling is absolutely brutal and we're going to make sure now you, you have to say this make sure you say Z you need the letter Z Z or whatever you want to call it if you don't say that um, you will have issues because if you say X or Y um, your um, circle will not your shadow whatever um, it, it will it will rotate in a not the way it should be because the, we need to use the Z axis not the Y or X axis because if you use those you will have um, an issue it won't work the way you want it to work so uh okay and i would say a hundred percent um my hundred percent to work out for some reason i pressed percent but it didn't work anyway so and now we use the same thing transform rotate z z axis again and then we say um 360 degrees because a circle is 360 degrees we could say 1080 degrees um the only thing i know about it is that it makes the thing to spin a bit faster but it does really just say 360 degrees so yeah that's that's all that's really it for um for the keyframes and um, now we're going to go into actually styling our circle like making a circle because we do need a circle so um let's continue on um we're called we called our div class we called it loading so we actually have to call it loading so we're going to say loading that's what we're going to say and it's going to be quite length um lengthy so uh, it's going to be quite you know long so we say position we say absolute um 
Okay, so that's done. We say left, we say 50%. 50%. Top, we say same thing, we say 50%. Um, now we'll go with margin. Now, margin is a. Uh, this might be a bit new to some people, old to, to some people. So, anyway, so, so how we're going to say margin, we're going to use, instead of having margin left, right, top, bottom, whatever, we're just going to use it like this. We're going to say 0, 0, and we're going to say minus 60 px. We're going to use pixels, we're not using percentages or anything, we're just going to use pixels. Now, we want the background for our, um, for our, um, loading thing. So, um, background. Background, okay, I spelled it wrong, I was like looking at it and I was like, this doesn't look really uh, neat. Anyway, we're going to use white, we just let's use white. Um, we're going, this is going to be the circle actually, so just so you know, this is actually going to be the circle. Um, um, what should I put in next? Width, width actually, yeah, width, sorry guys, and height. So now this is a tricky one. Um, I'm just going to say 120 pixels and 120 pixels. So that's what I'm going to do. Now um, we need to use border radius. Now why are we using this? Um, we're using this to actually make a circle. If we put in 100%, we're actually going to have a circle. Like we're going to have a, like just a circle, so that's why we need we need to have a circle. You know, we don't want any squares or anything like that. We need just we need a circle because this is a loading thing, and usually it's in a circle sort of a shape. Okay, and now we're just going out of border just because um, we can. Why not? So border. Um. Um. I'm kind of forgetting my syntax a little bit of CSS. Um. I'm going to say 5px, solids, and red. Okay. So we are kind of finished with this part. Now we have to deal with just one more part. It's the last part, and we just type in loading. Again, that's how we call our div class. And now we're going to say after. Okay. So. What's next in the book? We're going to say um, width again. This is going to be the thing that's going to be spinning around the circle. So that's what I'm currently doing. So we're going to say 140%. And we're going to obviously have height because if we have width, we need to have a height. And we're going to say the same amount of percent. Okay. So now position, same thing. Um, absolute. Okay, that's done. Um, border radius. Um, of course, we wanted a hundred percent again because we want you know the thing to be a circle, to rotate around a circle. So makes perfect sense. So we're gonna say top, and we're gonna say minus twenty percent. And same with left. We're gonna say minus twenty percent. So okay, so that's done. We want the thing to be, you know, slightly transparent, you know. So we're going to say 0 0.7. That's what we're going to say. Okay. So now we're going to go into animation. Okay. Um. Um. Okay. So we're going to say rotate, and we're going to say around 1.4 seconds. Infinite. Um, infinite and linear. That's what we're going to do. Um, I think I forgot a few things. I think I need to actually have um background. I need to say transparent. What else? And let me see. Oh, yeah, okay, I forgot actually one thing. Actually, let me move down, Jesus. Um, I need um, a box shadow. So, box shadow. Now, this is going to get a bit complicated. Um, I was just looking at my notes actually over here on the page because I actually need this. And I won't actually remember this off by heart. So, uh, 
Well, you can, but uh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't try. Well, I remember this off by heart. But this is going to be the color. So, um, RGBA. We we'll put in a bracket four four four. Zero, um, zero, um, zero again. Then zero point six. So, that's that. Now we're going to say minus four px. Oh Jesus, what's happening here? Four px minus five px. 3px and uh, minus 3px and that's all I think I think that looks clean enough so um, I'm just going to check it on the browser should work okay we're having a bit of an issue and um, if I want to show it to you you can't really see anything apart from a circle and uh, the border that's because our background is a bit um, bit messed up I think the keyframes seem to be okay. 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 So let's say body. Oh, what am I doing? Jesus. I'm doing I'm writing some HTML and CSS and I'm gonna say background color and I'm gonna say black. So black. So it should work properly now, hopefully. Okay, it doesn't. So guys, sorry about that. So it turned out that I just had too many zeros in the RGBA. Um, so I basically had something like this. So um, and that broke the thing. So uh, don't 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 make the same mistake I made. So yeah, just sorry about this. Um, that's how you do it. And now I'm gonna show you the final result. And it works. And it looks really nice too. So um, here you could see the final result. Here you could see um the load and sort of spinning around it's in red color and um, I could obviously scale it down and make it smaller to a certain extent it's not like you know the circle won't go even smaller and smaller but it's sort of responsive if you want to say it like that but not really okay so yeah this was basically how to build this little load loading logo in CSS tree it's just some animations um, not really complicated, but it's a nice little thing to maybe know and uh, play around with. So thank you for watching. Do drop a like or a dislike. Maybe you didn't like this type of video. Maybe you want to see something else. Um, just comment down below or anything like that. Um, and uh, please do subscribe because it totally shows me that there's actually support out there and people actually enjoying this. Um, you know, because if, if there's no one subscribing and telling me, you know, keep doing this, this is actually quite interesting, you know, teach me more or whatever else. And um, then, you know, what's well, really the point of doing this. And um, so thanks for watching, guys, and i uh, see you in the next one.